You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's Meditation for the Heart, titled, Is Islam a Religion of Peace? I do not have to tell you that there is a lot of talk on the news, radio, and other media about Islam. A lot of the talk is negative. Many of those talking negatively say that Islam is a religion of war and destruction and that those who adhere to this faith cannot and should not be trusted. Others believe that terrorists are misrepresenting Islam and that this religion is in fact a religion of peace. The opinions about Islam are many. What is your opinion? What about you? What do you think? Personally, I do not know much about Islam. I have never studied this religion nor have I ever practiced, practiced it. To be honest with you, Islam is not a topic that carries that much weight in my life. Not that I do not care about Muslims. I love Muslim people. However, I am a follower of Christ and I do not need to know any other religions to practice Christianity. I feel that the question that I and other Christians should, a should ask is, is Christianity a religion of peace? At least to me, that is a critical question since I am to follow the teachings from my religion. I am a Christian. I follow Jesus Christ, and Christ is peace. Now, that sounds simple enough, but what exactly does it mean when we say Christ is peace? We should look at this not just from an academic perspective. To those who believe in Christ, peace is something that we don't just talk about. Peace to a Christian should be a way of life, something concrete, something real. For example, let's take the Muslim faith and Muslim people. How are we as Christians, how are we as people of peace supposed to relate to those who practice Islam? Should we be hostile to Muslims? Should we impose restrictions on the way Muslims conduct themselves? And should we treat them as lesser beings because of their religion? Let's remember, Christ is peace. So how then do we deal with the fear and the inclination that we have to protect ourselves 
from the unknown and from what we perceive as different. How does this square off with Christ's message of peace? We have to be honest here. Let's not pretend that we as humans do not have an inclination to reject and inclination to discriminate. We do it all the time. That doesn't make it right. We do it all the time. But there are no exceptions to the rules of walking with Christ just because we feel threatened. Also, at no time does Jesus Christ say, Sure, you follow my ways when it's convenient, but you don't have to when it's hard. We are supposed to be Christians always. Peace should always be in our hearts, especially when it is hard. So when we look at Muslims, we cannot have contempt in our hearts. Because in order to have peace, we certainly cannot be hostile and contempt is a violent sin. Additionally, we cannot have fear of Muslims if we are to have peace with them. Being afraid of Muslim people comes as a result of our inability to trust Christ. Either we believe Christ is in control, or we don't. If Jesus is in control, we can be at peace, for we have no fear. On the other hand, if we don't trust Christ, if we do not have faith in Jesus, and if we don't have faith in Jesus' ability to overcome for us, then we cannot be at peace. How then can we say we are Christians if the peace of Christ is not in us? And if the peace of Christ is in us, can we do anything but to share, share that peace with others? So we got to ask ourselves this question. We have to internalize what we are feeling and try to see if it agrees with the example Christ has given to us about peace. We have to be honest. Oftentimes, we spend a lot of energy looking at other people's religions and looking at other people's flaws. But we do not spend enough time looking inwardly. We get so caught up on judging others that we refuse to listen to the Holy Spirit as it convicts us and as it shows us the way. When we do that, when we refuse the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we don't look at things through the filter of God's Word. If we did, perhaps we will see how blessed we are to be able to extend the peace and love of Christ to Muslims and other people.
you know, if we went to a predominantly Muslim country, we wouldn't be able to freely preach the gospel there. Not only would we end up in prison, but the people we preach to would also be in danger. Yet, here in the United States, we can freely preach to Muslims, and they can freely listen to the message of Christ without fear. So the fact that Muslim people come to this country is a blessing and an opportunity for us to share the peace of Christ with them. Think about that for a minute. Look at it from a heavenly kingdom building opportunity and not from an earthly kingdom preservation mindset. This concludes today's meditation titled Is Islam a Religion of Peace? I am glad that you came by to listen, to find out more about our ministry. Go to our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. Also, we have an application in Google Play. Just go to Google Play in the search form. Type in Sacred Hearts of Jesus Chapel. Again, type in Sacred Hearts of Jesus Chapel. That should bring up our app. Install it on your device and you can use the app to submit your prayer request as well as interact with our ministry in different ways. Also, in our website, there's a prayer request page that you can use to submit your prayer request. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you later.